Doc is my service dog. I chose to seek different modalities to help heal my PTSD. One of the issues when you're suffering from PTSD is having isolation. You don't want to deal with the public, but obviously you can't live like that. You need to be able to reintegrate into society. We know that veterans with PTSD are struggling. They face high rates of depression, anxiety. Their body is exhausted from the hypervigilance that they are facing. Those with a service dog appear to be struggling less. It's not intended to be a standalone treatment to cure PTSD on its own. It's intended to help veterans struggle less. And that's really what the data is showing is that they are exhibiting less PTSD symptoms I call him an early warning detection system because now that he was in the house, any little thing that he would have heard, he would have gotten up and he would have alerted me. So now I could sleep better at night. I don't have to worry about the insomnia. Well, am I going to get attacked? Is this going to happen? Am I going to have a night terror and not be able to get out of it? And Doc, knowing he was beside my bed, it gave me that opportunity of peace and ease to be able to good night's sleep. The VA is the primary body that determines what treatments are evidence-based, which treatments are recommended. Currently, service dogs are listed as not having enough clinical evidence to be supported and listed in this manner. And that's one of the reasons that we wanted to conduct this study, is to bring evidence behind a practice that appears to be increasingly popular, yet historically did not have the scientific base behind it. You know, I can't really say that I've had really dark moments since I've had him. Yes, I've had moments, but they're now manageable moments. So whereas they, this used to be debilitating for days and weeks on end, right? You could take now a situation in which I, I might be triggered, but I could hopefully get that within hours to days. The best love. Doc. 